So in this video, I'll review steps that you have to take in the minutes, hours and days following the hijacking of your Google account. So I believe you're here because you, uh, you realize your Google account was hacked. You probably can't access it. The information online is useless. It basically asks you to use your Google account to log into some forms that you can't obviously uh, gain access to. If you're one of my uh, regular subscribers and wondering now why I'm talking about this, uh, my accounts, my Google account, my YouTube, my social media, everything was hacked on the 5th of January. What followed uh, were 12 days of extreme stress. And here I am finally uh, got it back. So that's why I'm recording this video. Importantly, I switched off the option to comment under this video because uh, usually what happens uh, is that scammers, they start to uh, swarm around uh, such content, uh, scammers that uh, offer you to to uh, offer you their help with getting your accounts back. But remember, uh, and this will be happening, this will be a constant theme uh, here uh, or on Twitter later, they will be there, these scammers are always there and they will be trying to convince you that they can help, they have companies, they are IT specialists, IT companies, ethical hackers, whatever, uh, that will help you get the accounts back. Never ever trust any of them, please don't do it. The only uh, one who can help you, the only company that can help you here is Google. Uh, so don't ever trust these people. Like I said, that's why I switched the commenting off. If you really need to reach out or comment, uh, just comment on another, under another video. And uh, there is a big chance, probably 99% chance that I will uh, notice and respond uh, to that comment as I always do. So very quickly, before we start, the first thing I want to tell you is not to panic. And I'm not saying uh, not to uh, worry. Uh, these are not the same thing. You obviously have every single reason uh, to be worried, but don't panic. Don't panic because you will get your account back. Uh, you will uh, get your YouTube back, even if it's not there now. So maybe you checked, maybe it's already been terminated. Sometimes this happens. Maybe it's not there, maybe it has a different name, whatever. You will get uh, the full account back, the full channel back, even if it's being terminated. All the videos, everything will be back. Don't uh, panic because you need to uh, just be calm now and, and think and, and plan what you need to do and not panic. Also, it helps to know, it helped me to know that it's nothing personal. They haven't targeted you specifically. They're not watching you now. Uh, they are targeting thousands and thousands of channels. They basically use them to quickly broadcast some uh, some scam. That's what they are doing. But they're not looking at you. They, they haven't targeted you. It helped me to, to understand that. So that's why I'm, I'm saying that here. So what do you do first? So uh, first, let's uh, make sure that you're securing whatever there is left to secure. Uh, and uh, the first thing, in my opinion, that you have to do is to go and uh, change the, the passwords and secure your uh, your Windows account. Uh, I don't think they are after it, but just in case secure, change passwords, uh, especially if it's the same, if it happens to be the same as your Google uh, Google account password was. So secure that, uh, uh, secure if you have any additional important maybe email accounts, secure that as well. You can go and check if you still have Facebook. Uh, chances are you don't. Uh, because that's also what they do. They eventually want to log into your Facebook link, uh, an Instagram account to it, and also use it for their scam. Uh, so eventually you also get uh, locked out of that uh, and the whole account will be suspended. So they're not there, but you're not there either. It's a separate thing, separate video. Uh, it's actually uh, a difficult battle as well, much more so in my opinion than getting your Google account back. However, most people don't care that much about the Facebook as they do about their a Google account and YouTube account. So go and check if you still have it. Again, quickly change the password. So any passwords that come uh, to your mind. Uh, I would also recommend if there is, if you have this option to call the bank and cancel your uh, your bank card and just order a new one. That's what I did. Again, I'm not sure if uh, there is a way for them to use your bank card, but I, you know, I didn't want to be wor uh, wondering about that. But instead, just for the peace of mind, to just call the bank, can uh, cancel the uh, the card, uh, order a new one. So they can't, for example, purchase anything, even if they log into some of you know the platforms or shops or whatever uh, that I was logged into. Now the next stage and, and how we'll actually reach out for support. So now uh, we've secured everything we want to reach out for support uh, is going to be through Twitter. Even if you, you are surprised as I was, and I, I wasted probably most of that day 
just trying to to find help elsewhere because I was so skeptical about Twitter. I never really used Twitter, and I couldn't understand why this would be the best way to do it. But that's the best way to do it. That's how you will get it back, and that's that's where you need to go. So if you don't have a Twitter account, just start a new one. Uh, I I had an account I had to create for my daughter's school, but uh, but if you don't have it, just create a new one quickly. And uh, what you need to do is go uh, find uh, Team YouTube on Twitter and follow them. You have to follow them because otherwise they can't uh, directly message you. So follow them and then create a post or tweet or whatever. Like I said, I, I really don't use Twitter. Uh, and you kind of have to give them a shout. And you give them a shout by using the, the at symbol rather than the hashtag which again was something new and I was told by my daughter, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't know how to do it. So uh, call them uh, and basically uh, say uh, in that pul pulse or tweet or whatever, just say my account, my, my channel was hacked, my channel was hacked, help me recover it. You don't have to do anything else, they, they know what's happening, they understand. Uh, so that's all you need to do. Um, Meanwhile, as you're waiting for the response, which usually is pretty quick, to be honest, and I was shocked, it was, I think, maybe 15 or 20 minutes for me. Sometimes it's quicker. It probably could be longer, depends on the time of the day as well. But uh, meanwhile, go and set up a new Gmail account. A new Gmail account, you'll, you'll need it throughout the communication. So uh, eventually you'll get your original G Gmail account back, but for now you need a new one. Again, pretty quick uh, process, just start a new uh, set up a new Gmail account. Meanwhile, another important thing that you have to figure out is what your channel, uh, your YouTube channel URL was. That's very important because you have to provide it to uh, Team uh, Team YouTube once they reach out uh, th uh, through Twitter. Uh, you need it for later for all the forms where you're trying to get it back. So I'm not talking about this uh, personalized, personalized. Uh, unique ID or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but but rather about the actual long URL with all the numbers and letters. So uh, there are a couple of ways in which you can do it. I was confused. Maybe you just have it somewhere. That would be great. But maybe you sent it somewhere. Maybe you sent, uh, sent this in some other email that you still uh, have access to. Uh, what I did, I think, what you can also do uh, I collaborated with different creators on, you know, on YouTube. So I was still, so they were linking to my channel under our or their video. Uh, and usually, when they do, there is actually this unique ID again that you don't need. But if you hover your mouse over it, on the left-hand side at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the actual URL. And that's, I believe, what I did. Maybe you have a website where you also have a link to your YouTube channel, and try doing the same. Hover and see. Uh, another uh, option that people talk about is uh, start typing studio in the, the address bar because uh, then the whole uh, studio YouTube studio link appears and it has your channel URL as well. I didn't have it, but I believe I probably cleaned everything uh, at some point, uh, like all the, you know, the, the history and the, the cache or cache or whatever following that attack. Uh, I can't remember why and when, but I think I did it and that's why I couldn't see it. But but there are a couple of ways. You do need that URL because that's kind of uh, the core of everything that they, you know, that will happen next. Now Team YouTube reaches out, they ask you for, uh, for that URL. You give that uh, URL uh, to them and that's what they need for now. So they need some time uh, to establish probably what happened and send you uh, ultimately the form, the form that you will, the hijacking or the, the recovery form is what it's called, that you will use to get your first, your Google uh, Google account back. Uh, so that's what you do. Uh, and then again, there, there will be some time, you have some time. Uh, so in that time, you can just uh, think about other maybe platforms, passwords, things to secure just in case as well as uh, also uh, think about ways in which you can uh, possibly uh, find out your AdSense ID, AdSense ID. So uh, it's one of the things you'll, you'll need, but don't panic if you don't have it, because I believe probably without it, you'll still be fine. There, there will be other evidence that you will provide on that uh, form eventually. Uh, but if you have ac access to your AdSense ID, maybe you, you use an email, a different email, a one you, you do have access to, when you are registering it, uh, or maybe it's it's somewhere else. Uh, so think about ways in which you could possibly uh, get that AdSense ID. At some point, uh, Team YouTube will ask you 
uh, for your Gmail account, the one that you set up the new one. So I can't remember if it's in the first communication. I don't think so. It's probably in that final uh, later one when they want to ask uh, to send you that that form. Uh, in general, there is a so between for me between the time uh, when I started to communicate, which was Friday night on Twitter, I gave them the, the channel URL and I did not uh, receive the form that I needed until uh, Sunday morning. I believe uh, in between they probably asked me for that Gmail account, just so you have the idea, the rough idea of the timeline. It could depend on the days of the week and times as well. I know that lots of people, for lots of people, it was much less time than for me. For me, the whole process, to be honest, was longer than for many people. Um, maybe it's because these days they target so many channels and, and obviously it's a strain on YouTube and, and it adds to their workload. But eventually uh, they will at some point ask you for that email and eventually they will send you that uh, link uh, to recovery form. And basically you have to obviously fill it in to the best of your ability. Uh, don't worry if you don't know all the answers. What I did, I uh, well, you do have to fill everything in, uh, so that's one thing. Uh, but then if you don't know something or maybe there's something you want to comment on, use the, the open-ended uh, responses boxes. There are two responses uh, where you can comment, and I used use them to the maximum just to explain also what I'm not sure about. So I didn't even know exactly when I started my channel, and there is this uh, form where you have to pick the exact date on the calendar. I obviously didn't know that, but I, I just explained as much as I could. Uh, importantly, it's uh, they will guide you through, you know, how to, for example, know the IP of your computer, which is probably the most important thing. You will need that URL, like I said, and a couple of other details. But like I said, don't panic. I, at that stage, was extremely, extremely anxious uh, because uh, I, uh, from being super happy, that I got this email, uh, this link sent, I went uh, straight into being extremely, extremely distressed when I realized that I probably don't know as much as I should about my channel and maybe what if they, you know, they they can't, uh, I can't provide evidence that it's mine, but but it worked and believe me, I didn't know many things on that form. But the form, uh, the form should take you between 15 minutes to an hour probably or probably 40 minutes uh, to fill in, like I said, there's a few uh, pretty important details. Just fill it in, comment in the, the open-ended boxes and send it. From the point when you send this form uh, to the email uh, back from uh, from uh, Team YouTube, again, it probably depends on individual circumstances. For me, it was longer than... Uh, so the whole process was longer than what people told me on YouTube. Again, I believe it's because it's these days it just happens so often. Uh, for me, it was probably around... 10, uh, 10 hours, maybe eight hours, but like most of the day uh, before I got this response. So uh, then I do get the response. They they managed to confirm that the channel had been compromised. That's what they say. And then they guide you again through the process. So again, don't panic. Remember that. Don't panic. Just uh, look at the instructions and you'll be fine. There are different ways. There are three different ways. There are different scenarios they take into account. So basically, it's kind of... Uh, glitchy and weird the whole thing that they asked you to do for me it didn't work exactly how they described it and i panicked probably three or four or four times in the process but then i went back and did it again and again and again and it worked so it works and even if it doesn't then again they they asked you to email them and tell them if it doesn't work so they are super supportive uh, this whole hijacking team is extremely supportive uh, and responsive so they will respond to you just do everything they ask you to do and and send it uh, send it back to them following this uh, there is again you have to wait a little bit longer but not very long I can't remember but it would probably not be longer than a day and I believe it's much less than that uh, you'll eventually get your uh, your access back uh, you will get access to your Google account. Obviously, the first thing to do is also to secure it now. But the good thing is that the hackers, they have no longer access to it. So you're safe uh, from here. You're absolutely safe and they've been kicked out. And that's probably what you wanted to do most. Uh, there is, however, a very important and rather bittersweet uh, thing to mention here and, and thing that you will now realize or have realized if you're watching it at that point uh, 
uh, you probably lost uh, your YouTube channel. So, so that's not great. That's not what you were hoping for. Uh, it had been terminated by YouTube. So this is where this uh, remaining part of the battle basically begins. <laughs> um, so what happens is that they obviously they, they, they terminated the channel because they realized that it's been violating their, their policies, but obviously it wasn't you. Uh, however, to them, it's not that clear because unfortunately the hijacking team and the other teams, they, they are not really collaborating that much. It's not like, like they are sitting next to each other. So, so basically, although it makes perfect sense to us and it's clear that it wasn't you, it's not cl clear to them. Unfortunately, you cannot now communicate with hijacking, hijacking team because they are done. They've done their, their bit. Uh, so now you you can no longer ask for their support. Uh, however, again, do not panic because you will get it back. You will get your channel back if the only reason they terminated this is what the hackers posted on your channel. You can find the appeal form uh, online if you Google for it, or uh, I believe the email they sent now to the original uh, Gmail account that you now have access to, they also explained what they did and they explained how to appeal. So there is an appeal form. Now, uh, prepare for that, uh, to write that appeal form. Just give them uh, every possible detail that they need and ideally start with something uh, that says, uh, I believe it was... Uh, by mistake or, or this was an error and I want uh, you to manually review it. So that's what you want to do. Uh, do not beg them. Do not, do not you know, uh, show your emotions. That's uh, Some people actually uh, recommend doing that, but it didn't work for me initially. And I believe it's more important to be formal and to make it sound like an actual appeal. Present the facts and explain this is clear. This happened by accident. It was a mistake. Uh, and I'm the victim of cybercrime. This is not fair. I should get the channel back. Please review my case. Uh, give them all the details that they are asking for. In my case, what happened uh, as a result of this appeal is not ideal either. So some people, many people seem to have got their channel back at this, at this point following their appeal. It may take apparently any time between one day and 14 days for some people. Uh, for me, I actually got my uh, the response to my appeal very quickly in a few hours, and the response was negative. They said, we reviewed the channel, it violated our policies, it's going to be terminated. You can't even start a new channel now. So I feel basically like a criminal. I feel almost like crying at this point. I don't understand how it's even possible. Um, I reach out on, on Twitter again. They say... Uh, is being reviewed but i know it's not because i just got this negative response so what followed basically so at, the, at this point now it's been two days since the whole situation and the next 10 days for me is just mainly waiting and constantly bothering team youtube on twitter and asking for updates and they are telling me that somebody's looking at it and i don't believe it because it's been looked at and and I and my my appeal was rejected. So so just know that I was in that situation as well. It wasn't ideal. It was extremely stress uh, stressful, but uh, but that's what it is. Uh, eventually, I tried to uh, file another appeal. You can do that as well. Uh, so if it's uh, unsuccessful, just prepare another one. Make it professional. Make it detailed. Uh, for me, it came back saying that we can't accept it because there is one already. That we were looking at which made me even more frustrated because i knew that i had this negative response so i'm i'm in now complete uh shock and and panic i'm anxious so uh so that's basically what it was for me but eventually uh pro uh, eventually it happened it happened eventually and i got this email back saying yeah we did make a mistake we reviewed it again and here is your channel back and now here is a tip for what you can do if it's if you're in a similar situation and that far from ideal situation at the end, um, I tried everything. Obviously, I tried every single possible email that I could find. I could. I started to reach out on Twitter to you know people, random people like Mr. Beast. <laughs> so uh, anything, anything that could help, I just just help me. You know, help uh, with the channel. I had no idea what to do at that point. I was very vulnerable, and you will be as well. Uh, uh, when it comes to these uh, scammers that I mentioned. So ignore everybody on Twitter that approaches you. But what I did eventually, I found this article and I found this actual email address. It was for the legal team, for YouTube legal team. And I don't know if that helped or not. So I'm not saying this helped. But on the uh, 12th day, I sent them an email saying, please review this case manually. I explained the situation. I said, I believe there is a mistake. It says there is an appeal. There isn't. I got um, rejection and all that. 
On the same day later, I got a response. Everything got solved. They said they made a mistake. So I'm not sure if this made a difference, but they did acknowledge the, the uh, receipt of my email and they eventually responded saying we did make a mistake. So that's a little tip, but only if it's taken too long. Otherwise, hopefully, fingers crossed, you won't have to go through that final, you know, annoying and frustrating bit. Uh, good luck. I hope you get it back. You will get it back. Don't worry. You will get it back. Um, like I said, reach out, uh, comment under another video, not this one, if you need to comment. And good luck again.